one. In the NCAA post-match press conference with uh, Washington University, St. Louis, joined by head coach Vanessa Walby and uh, her student athletes, Jasmine Sells and Lane Bohr. Uh, after a five set first round victory over Millican University coach, if you could give an opening statement on this match and uh, we'll open it up for questions. Yeah, I mean, it was exciting. I hope all the fans got their money worth. Um, but no, Milliken, they played unbelievable. We saw them earlier this year. They've really elevated their game. They made some really good adjustments since then. Um, I feel bad for number five. Hope she's doing well and that her knee and everything is okay. But uh, they worked really hard. I think they worked their shots well. Their block was really on par. Um, you know, all props to them. I think our girls starting to make adjustments a little bit um, kind of halfway through the match a little bit more with some of our shots and our block picked up a little bit. Um, but yeah, overall, I thought it was too hard too hard of a first round match. I'm gonna have a heart attack by the end of this, yeah. I think. <laughs> Uh, Lane, I was just going to ask you toward the end of set five, you could just kind of tell with your body language, you, you wanted the ball there at the end um, and they fed you. Just talk about those last couple of points that you were able to get for the team to close it out. Yeah, I think those pressure situations are something that we've grown into a lot this year. And I think that last year, like our team would have been a little bit more scared as opposed to this year. I think we all, we were all looking forward to it. We all wanted the ball and really wanted a chance to win that game. Yeah. Jasmine, uh, freshman. Sophomore, sophomore, <laughs> sorry, sophomore. Uh, just talk a little bit about what you saw in this match. Um, so many ebbs and flows. Um, you guys were down a bunch there in set four and didn't give up, fought all the way back. Um, how'd you guys do it? I have to give it to the team. We had a lot of grit. Um, again, that's something that we've been working on all season. Um, above everything else, I think our team was really, really positive. Yeah. I would miss a ball out of bounds and someone come to be like, you're good, you got this, with a big smile on their face. And our bench is amazing. I think I went off at like 17, 11, and I was like, oh no, in the fourth set. And then our bench was going crazy, and I was like, we're fine, we're fine. Um, so I think it's just a team effort, a team win, and everyone working together and staying positive for the match. Yeah. Other questions here? Um, just thoughts, Coach, on tomorrow. Um, you're playing uh, the Flying Dutch at Hope. Uh, you know, they'll be playing close to home. Yeah. Um, just your thoughts on playing them in the second round. Yeah, they're going to be good. Becky and I are good friends. She does a really good job with her squad every single year. And her kids battle. They play with a lot of heart. They have really good team chemistry. Um, and they have a lot of um, pins and middles that work really, really hard. Um, their defense is really sound as well. So we're going to have to elevate our game a lot and kind of clean up some stuff and fine tune some stuff in the next 24 hours on things. <laughs> but um, I'm excited to play. We haven't played them for a couple of years. I think it will be a fun match for sure. Okay. Very good. Congrats. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.